This is going to be a short presentation on defining sensor orientations for vibration sensors. This is a triaxial accelerometer. It has three sensors inside. In this case, they are labeled X, Y, and Z. Here's another example. And we need to know, relative to our machine, which direction each of these sensors is pointing. In a horizontal machine, axial is always in the direction of the shaft. Vertical is vertical, and horizontal is horizontal. Defining axes in a vertical machine gets a little tricky because axial is always with the shaft, and in this case, axial is also vertical. So we need to define vertical a different way. A common way to do this is to consider vertical to be in line with a discharge pipe, and horizontal would be 90 degrees from vertical. You can use a different convention, just either draw a picture or take a photo, label the axes on it, and make it clear to everyone how you're defining vertical and horizontal. Machines vibrate in all three axes. Different mechanical faults show up in different axes. For example, unbalance shows up in the vertical and horizontal directions, whereas angular misalignment shows up in the axial direction. If you want to do diagnostics, you have to know the sensor orientation. It's not enough to just know X, Y, Z, or 1, 2, 3 of your sensor. We need to know how they're oriented compared to the machine. It's good to record the sensor position on a machine test form. If a sensor falls off or it's replaced, the new sensor has to go in the same place with the same orientation. If you're doing a walk-around program, this would tell the person taking the reading exactly where to take it and how to orient the sensor. Not only that, um, you can document nameplates information on this, and photos are always helpful. So here's an example of a horizontal machine, and we're going to define the orientation of this sensor. So in this case, the X sensor with the blue arrow is pointing in the vertical direction, the Y sensor with the red arrow is pointing in the axial direction, and the Z sensor with the orange arrow is pointing towards us, or horizontal. We would define this orientation as V, A, H. So the, instead of X, Y, Z, the first channel, X, is V, the second channel, Y, is A, and the third channel, Z, is H. If we rotate the sensor 90 degrees, it changes the orientation of the Y and Z axes. The X is still vertical, but now the Y is horizontal, the red arrow, and the Z is axial, the orange arrow. So we would call this orientation VHA. Now we have the sensor mounted on the side of the machine, and that of course changes the orientation. Now the X is horizontal, that's the blue arrow, the Y is vertical, and the Z is axial. If we move the sensor to another position, of course the orientation changes yet again. Now you can see the axial, uh, sorry, the X is in the axial direction, the blue arrow, the Y is vertical, and the Z is horizontal. That's the same thing in a vertical machine. We just have to clearly mark on the picture how we're defining V and H, since in this case, axial is technically vertical. Um, axial, again, is always with the shaft. And in this case, we have the X in the horizontal, the Y is axial, and the Z is vertical, according to how the uh, axes are drawn on the picture. So we would call this orientation HAV. And again, if we rotate the probe 90 degrees, that changes the orientation. And so now X is still horizontal, but Y is vertical, Z is axial, and we would call this orientation HVA. If you have to place a sensor at an angle, just do your best to define the orientation and perhaps take a photo or draw a picture about how the sensor is oriented. And in this case, even though we're not pointing directly vertically with the X um, blue arrow, we could still call X vertical, Y axial, and Z horizontal. If it was tilted a little bit more to the side, we could call X um, horizontal and we could call Z vertical. The more important thing is to make sure that we get the axial one correct.
it's a good idea to take photos, not just showing where the sensors are mounted or where they're supposed to be mounted. Also get a close-up to show the orientation of the sensor. Again, document sensor IDs if this is an online system, and photograph the nameplate so you know that what machine you are monitoring. Thank you very much. Look for other videos in the future. And why not come to a Zenco vibration class?